oh, I've been having some tingling sensations in my scalp, in my back, um, the back of my neck, and they radiate towards my chest as well. And um, I've been hiking recently, and I think I pulled a muscle in my back because my back also hurts a lot. Wow, so there's quite a few things going on here. Yes, I'm a little bit concerned about the tingling sensations because they wake me up at night and they're quite unpleasant. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Do you currently have those sensations? A little bit on my back, yes. And I feel not just a tingly sensation, but also a numbness. So it goes tingly, then numb, tingly, then numb. Wow, so we'll definitely do some sensational tests. And can you just show me exactly where you feel them? Yes, right here. And here. Okay, I'm just gonna have a quick feel. Yes. You are quite warm to touch. Yeah, I don't know. I Maybe coming down in the fever as well. I've been just having hot flashes ever since I woke up. Okay, well, let's definitely check your vital signs to start off with. Have you been near anybody who is sick? No, nobody in the household has had any symptoms of sickness or anything. So. Awesome. Okay, yeah. that's great. And then did you fall for all these things to start popping up? When I was hiking, I think I tripped one time, but I didn't fall, I didn't hurt anything, but um, I did use all of my muscles all, all at once, and yeah, maybe that's why I pulled my back. You might have definitely pulled your back, so we can definitely do an assessment there, and we can try to relax the muscles as well with just a little bit of cupping therapy. So I heard that skin pulling can help with relaxation. Is that something you can help me with today? Yes. Definitely. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that for sure. Great. What I would like to do, though, is make sure that your vitals are clear, just so that I don't have anything to worry about while we're doing the examination on you. Great. And just a few other questions. Do you have any allergies? I'm allergic to grass. Every time I touch grass, I break out in a rash, and I get itchy all over, and yeah, I've been... It's been hard trying to stay away from grass, but I'm, I've managed it. No picnics. Okay. No barefoot walking in the forest, unfortunately. Well, that is unfortunate. No camping? No camping. No, I don't like camping. <laughs> I don't love it either. All right. Let's go ahead and start with your vitals. going to begin by listening to your heart, looking for a strong heartbeat and also looking to see if there's any crackling in the lungs. So I'll just have you breathe normal for me. No heart palpitations. Good. I'll have you breathe in deep and exhale. Any pain? No. Breathe in deep and exhale. Any pain? No. Just gonna have a listen of your chest. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Very good. I'm just going to go ahead and listen with my bell here. Yes, your heartbeat is strong. I'm not hearing S3 or 4, so S1 and 2 are there, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and just put my gloves on. Did you have anything to eat today? I did have breakfast, yes. Good. You're not feeling dizzy or nauseous at all? No. Perfect. Let's go ahead and check your temperature. Just want to make sure that you're not running a fever. Okay, you are 98.8 Fahrenheit, which is in the green. So there's no current fever. 
99.1 would be fever, so we're close, but not quite there. Let's check your oxygenation and your heartbeat per minute. We'll let that sit there for just a second. Okay, looks like your oxygenation is 97 and your beats per minute is 82, which is normal. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a feel of your face and a feel of your head to make sure that there's no bumps or scratches or anything. Okay. So I'm just going to have a feel here. Is this where you feel the numbness? Yes, the back of my neck and the nape area going down my back. Okay. Just gonna have a feel of the face. You are quite warm. And a few of the ears here. And then your tonsils. Have you ever had tonsillitis? No. And let me just have a feel of your sinuses. How are they feeling? Are they swollen at all? All clear. And just having a feel of the lymph nodes here. And then the preauricular and postauricular. There's no enlargements. Any pain over here? No. Just having a feel of the arms here. And feeling the temperature all the way to the hands. Just gonna check your capillary response. Good, can you wiggle your fingers? Very good. Well, the response here. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and check your skin, just a very quick skin analysis. We do have, it looks like normal to dry skin, is that correct? Mm, yeah, I'm usually a combination. I'm not noting any abscesses or anything particular you should be worried about. Your scalp is healthy. Your hair is thick and full. We'll go ahead and do a scalp exam later. I want to focus on your cranial nerves. So if you could, shrug your shoulders for me. Don't let me push them down. Very good. And relax. Widen your eyes. Okay, now close them. Good, open them back up. Raise your eyebrows and don't let me push them down. Very good. I'm gonna try to turn your head, don't let me. And the other way. And I'm gonna try to push back, don't let me. And pull forward, don't let me. All right. I'm going to take a look at your eye movement. Okay, so I'll just have you follow the light for me. Good. Now I'll be doing just a few sensational tests. I'm going to start off by palpating. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Just going to palpate the clavicle. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and check your reflexes. I'll have you relax into my hand here all the way. Very good. I'm going to put a cold sensation such as this on your face. I can feel it, yes. I want you to just say where you feel it, okay? Forehead. My chin. My chest. Right cheek. Left cheek. Left hand. Right arm. Lovely. You can keep your eyes closed and we'll do sharp or dull. This is sharp and this is dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp. Sharp. Very good. That felt good. Wonderful. What we're going to do is we're going to move on to your back. Okay. We'll do lots of cupping and we'll try to just have you feel better before you leave here today. Sounds great. Are you comfortable? Yes. Lovely. I'm just going to be putting your hair up. Now you're alright with me opening the gown? Yes. I'm going to start off by examining your back with my light. A thorough skin inspection. Looking for a reaction. Do you see a few moles here? Have you had them checked? Yes, I had them checked from the lateral mall. Scalp looks healthy. Hair distribution on the bottom is full and thick. Doesn't look like there's any hair loss going on there so far. I'm going to 
to go ahead and measure from the top of this side down to the lumbar. 20 inches. Shoulder to shoulder. 19. Good. I'm going to use my other device here to measure the fat symmetry. Half an inch. Same on both sides. Half as well. The neck To measure the neck here. Same on that side. About the same. I'm just going to measure the circumference of the head. 24. 15. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to do some skin cracking. Okay. This should help really increase blood flow. Shoulders are quite tense. 
I think the cupping will really help with that after the skin cracking. going to add a little bit of cold therapy to help relieve those achy muscles. Since your skin is quite red, I want to just help cool things down a little bit. How's that feel? Great. Very relaxing. I love it. Go ahead and do some sharper dull. This is dull, and this is sharp. Now we're going to do dull or cold. 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 Dull. Dull. Cold. Dull. Cold. 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 Dull. Lovely. I'm going to spray you. I just want you to say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Very good. I'm going to move on by adding some oil to your back so you can go ahead and do the cupping and gua sha therapy. Is that okay? Yes. Have you ever had cupping before? Yes. Oh, that's so good. I 
have so much tension there. You really do. I'm not going to do that one because it's going to make a weird sound. This should be very comfortable for you. Does it feel okay? Yes, it's great. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to add four different styles. Five actually. I really try to focus on some tension release. Just let those sit for a little bit. Are they feeling okay? Mm -hmm. You are going to have a little bit of redness. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay.
kind of do one by your neck area. That was an extensive um, therapy session there, so you will see a little bit of redness on your back. Now I'm just going to be using the gua sha tool here. Is this okay? Yes. And is this okay? You are getting red from the tool, which indicates some stagnant blood flow, stagnant cells. And just let me know if you're in any pain at all, okay? okay. Really working on those tight muscles here. Does it feel okay? Yeah, that's great. Still doing okay? Yeah, all good. And is this okay? Now that we've done a lot of work on you, I am going to add some kinesiology tape. This will just help keep everything in place. I want you to take it easy, okay? Take it easy for the rest of the day. Do you have any plans? No, I can just relax and pray. 
good plan. All right, let's focus on your scalp. Are you comfortable? Yes. I'm going to start by combing your hair. Just having a general look at the scalp. Noting just a tiny bit of flakiness, not much. Skin on the scalp is healthy, well nourished. Can you feel this? Yes. Does this feel cold? Yes. Let me know if you feel sharp or cold. Sharp. How are you feeling? Wonderful. The cupping and the skin pulling really helped loosen up my back muscles. I feel relaxed. Well, you do look a lot more relaxed. Oh, you yes. look like you could go take a nap. I will, for sure. <laughs> well, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much.